Hey everyone, I am Bryce, and today I am going to explain to you how to do competitor analysis in Google Ads. So make sure to stick around until the very end to discover the steps required for effective competitor analysis and gain valuable insights to enhance your Google Ads strategy. Now let us start the process of conducting competitor analysis for Google Ads using SEMrush a highly potent search engine marketing tool. If you haven't already created an account, you will need to create an account. Once you have accessed SEMrush, navigate to the left-hand menu. It contains various sections, including SEO and local SEO. For our purposes, we will be focusing on the advertising section, so click on it. Upon selecting the advertising section, you will find different options, such as market analysis, keyword research, ad tracking, and social media ads. To begin, click on Go to Advertising Research. Here, you will need to input a competitor's URL. In this tutorial, let us take the example of Molly Maid, a prominent maid service franchise with a widespread presence across the nation. So simply type in the URL of the website. Imagine you are in the process of creating a cleaning company and want to know the strategies employed by one of the nation's leading cleaning service providers. This is what SEM can do. After adding the URL, click on Search. By entering Molly Maid's URL, you can know information about their ads and gain insights into their advertising strategies, keyword usage, and overall approach. This data will provide you with the knowledge needed to formulate superior ads, leaving your competitors behind in the competitive realm of Google Ads. Choose the competitor that you have in the field and put their website in this tool called SEMrush. It will help you to see what they are doing on Google Ads. It tells me they are advertising on 360 keywords and it increased by 22%. They get around 22,000 visitors each month and spend nearly 117,000 US dollars monthly for that traffic. You can also check their traffic estimates. It seems to go up in February, March, September, and October. Maybe they spend more in that time. After the holidays, it looks like it comes back down. We can also see their trends, which is helpful. These trends are about paid ads. We can also check the keywords they use where they show up in search results, and how much they spend on traffic. Looking at the actual keyword they use, it seems they advertise a lot using their name. This is valuable information to consider. Let us imagine we're establishing a company. It would be a great idea to promote our business under our name. For example, observing that Molly Maids engages in advertising, particularly focusing on terms like cleaning services, with a substantial search volume of 60,000. It provides insights. By exploring different columns and filtering based on search volume, we can strategically approach advertising. Starting with terms, having the highest search volume, such as cleaning services, can be more effective. Molly Maids, for example, prioritizes this term with an average position of number one, showing its importance. Despite it being a high cost per click, their investment shows it is really effective. While we can't directly advertise using another's company name, knowing that Molly Maids advertises under their business name highlights a potential strategy that can be very beneficial for us. We can search the terms like house cleaning and cleaning services to optimize our advertising approach. Another beneficial step is to export these findings into a CSV or Excel file. When setting up your Google Ads campaign, you can easily paste these keywords directly into the keyword section. This will make the process of conducting keyword research easy, allowing you to analyze your competitor's strategy and identify key terms for your campaign. However, it is important to know that while keywords play an important role in a Google Ads campaign, the effectiveness of your ads mainly depends on the ad copy itself. Even if your ads target the right keywords without compelling and relevant ad copy, the campaign might not get you the best results. Therefore, it is essential to focus on the keywords as well as on the actual content of the ads. Look at other companies' ads to see how they talk about their stuff. Some ads talk about a brand called Molly Maids, while others talk about professional cleaning. This means they have different plans. The ads might be in different cities. If you save this info, you can study lots of companies, find trends, and make better ads. 
Now let us talk about the last important thing, landing pages. Always make sure your landing pages match your ads and give a good user experience. Check where the ad sends people. This helps to see if the ad is good and if the landing page is good. The other company sends people to pages for different cities. To understand, you should look at each page. Look at other companies' landing pages to see how they do it. They might talk like a friend, not a big company. They use engaging words like call your local Molly made today. Sometimes they put reviews at the bottom. This doesn't mean you should copy them, but it shows that online plans change a lot. One page is in a different place, maybe in a different language. See what services they offer and what links they have. This helps you see their plan. All this info helps make a plan that make people give good info and is easy to use. To beat the other companies in ads, look at their website pages. This helps us know if we can beat them at what to do. You should make better landing pages, write better ads, and pick better keywords. Find places to improve and beat the other companies. On that note, that will be it for this video. I hope you guys got some value. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.